In this video, I will explain how you can fix this error that comes when you use MongoDB and Atlas. So error says Mongo server selection error and then connection to specific IP address is closed. So the reason of why this error comes is because in the error itself it is saying is that uh, Mongo server selection error. That means when you are trying to make connection to the MongoDB, it is not able to select the server. And the reason why this happens is because there are limited connections that you can make to the MongoDB servers. For example, by default, it uses the connection pool of 100 connections. Okay, So if you have got three servers, so normally in the Atlas what happens is that there is a cluster and then there are servers in that cluster. So generally you are given three servers and each server uh, can have specific number of uh, connections that they can handle. So just uh, imagine that there are like 100 connections you can make to the server and if you are making trying to making more connections that is when this particular error will come it will not be able to select the server because the servers are limited connections are limited and that's why this kind of error comes now how to fix this so to fix that very quickly if you want to fix it you can restart your application for example i was using nextjs application and in the nextjs application i was connecting to the mongodb because of some issues in the scripting the application was making a lot of connections to the MongoDB and if I restart the application what happens is that all the connections are automatically closed and then when you restart the application the server is available right so you will not get that error so that is the quick fix but the best way to fix this particular error is that you have to optimize your script okay it also depends like how much traffic uh, you're getting on your web application so that is another factor to consider. But if uh, traffic is not that high, then the only thing that you can do is that you can optimize your script. Okay. For example, here is the sample script and you can see that in the development environment, we have to use uh, this Mongo client promise. So we are basically creating that uh, connection to the Mongo and sticking it on the global object. So in the development environment, if you don't do this, what happens is that a lot of connections are made to the MongoDB and that's why that error might come. So you have to make sure that you are using this particular script in the development environment and in the production you can use this particular code to connect to the MongoDB. And uh, notice here that we are not closing the connection. We don't have to close the connection because if you keep uh, making connection and closing the connection that is, that is a lot of overhead. So that thing you need to consider. In short, this error comes because all the connections that are available for you, you have exhausted all those connections and there are no more connections left and that's why this particular error comes, Mongo server selection error. If you have more questions, let me know through the comments. Thank you for watching.